you guys and Merry Christmas. I hope you've been enjoying looking at the Christmas story uh, just kind of from a deeper level over these uh, this past week and, and even moving forward. I love the Christmas story. Every time December rolls around, um, I just feel led to read, uh, reread the story of, of Jesus and Mary and uh, the wise men. Something I found over the years, though, is that while most of us tend to look to Matthew and Luke for the full Christmas story, a lot of the, the story can actually be found in different books of the Bible. And one of those books is Isaiah. Uh, I love the book of Isaiah. Uh, it talks a lot about the person and character of Christ. And Isaiah actually lived a long time before Jesus was ever born, um, but he, through the power of the Holy Spirit, was able to foretell who Jesus would be. And um, one of my favorite verses can be found in Isaiah verse 9, or sorry, chapter 9, verse 6, and it says this, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And I want to talk a little bit today about that last name. I love that one of Jesus' names is Prince of Peace. Uh, Isaiah doesn't tell us that uh, Jesus will just sometimes offer peace, but sometimes be a total mess. Uh, he says that he is the prince. He's the ruler of the kingdom of peace. And as we walk with him and and learn more about him and allow uh, his presence into our life, we'll begin to understand um, to a greater level what it is to live a peaceful whole life. Evan talked a little bit last week about um, how um, other uh, translations say he's the prince of wholeness. Uh, something about uh, the presence of Jesus brings about a peace that, that provides us the opportunity to be whole. And isn't that such good news um, this Christmas season that even uh, amidst the chaos of, of everything happening around us, we can, we can have peace through the presence of Jesus. There is no question about it, especially lately, uh, the world is a mess. <laughs> I mean, there are scary things out there, um, you know, big scary things like terrorist attacks and um, school shootings and and people just going crazy. <laughs> um, but there's also little scary things in our lives, uh, tests at school and um, parents fighting and, and relationships in turmoil. Uh, there's things happening all around us that can cause us to live um, in a state of fear. And uh, the enemy would love to come in and tell us uh, that, the, that it's too scary out there, that we should just play it safe. Uh, I mean, at this point in, in the way the world is going, you know, the safest place we could ever be is just maybe inside our home. Um, and, and the enemy would love to, to shut us out, um, to keep us in our house locked up and, and scared. Uh, but because Jesus came, because uh, Emmanuel, God with us, he brings his presence of, of peace. And so that enables us to go out into the scary world and look uh, fear and anxiety and um, turmoil in the face uh, while maintaining our composure and our um, our wholeness uh, and, and held together by the presence of Christ. Luke chapter 1 uh, verse 78 and 79 says this about Jesus. Because of our God's merciful compassion, the dawn from on high will visit us to shine on those who live in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. This season is so, so good for us to look back at why Jesus came, 
uh, why, what it means, what it meant to them, and what it means to us now that Jesus is here. And I don't think that there is any more, any better of a time than now uh, for followers of Jesus to cling to this name of his that is Prince of Peace. Something I've always loved um, is going to the Oregon coast and just looking at the majestic rocks. And some of you may not know this if you grew up in Oregon um, and have only ever been to an Oregon coast, but uh, the big uh, massive rocks that you see all along the coastline um, along the Oregon coast are, are unique to the Pacific Northwest. If once you go further south, you, you don't see um, these big boulders just standing in the middle of the ocean and it's always fascinating to me when I go and I'm standing on the shore and I see these huge rocks and the waves are just pummeling them and and it's windy and I feel like I'm going to be blown um, off you know off the beach entirely and these rocks are just immovable And it's a picture of me, it's a picture to me of what uh, the peace of Christ can look like in my life. When I, um, when there's waves coming in at all sides against us, and when the rain is pouring down, and we just feel battered by the world, um, the presence of Jesus means that we can stand firm and steady and immovable even in the midst of a storm that's what his peace does that's what his peace brings it doesn't always um, quiet the storm it doesn't always uh, lessen the the weight and heaviness and um, and brutality of the waves but it gives us um, a place to stand strong and steady um, with hearts that are filled with peace because he's near, because that is that's a part of his character. I've been really encouraged this Christmas season to uh, make time and space for the peace of Christ to come um, into my life. I love this verse in Ephesians. Uh, it says, it's Ephesians verse 3. I'm sorry keep doing that Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 a and it says I pray that out of his, that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that word dwell means to be exactly at home and I love that image of the Prince of Peace being exactly at home in my heart. It makes me feel brave. It makes me feel less afraid of, of what the world can do to me. And it makes me it makes me feel strong and secure. A part of something that isn't just um, failing, isn't just temporary, something that is eternal, something that is soul deep um, is the presence of Christ coming and making himself entirely at home in me. And this is what's awesome about it too, is that because because there's nothing that the world has to offer that can can bring this kind of wholeness that that is lasting um, and that brings life and doesn't destroy, the world doesn't have that to offer. And so as Christ followers, this this Christmas season, as we walk um, with the Prince of Peace and our whole and strong and secure in that it is going to be light into a dark and dying world like Luke says uh, the dawn from on high will visit us to shine on those who live in darkness in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace and we actually get the opportunity to do the same we get to to shine uh, the presence of Christ into a dark and dying world and to guide people to the Prince of Peace. So this Christmas season, I want to encourage you guys, um, take time to be in the presence of Jesus. Learn uh, learn what it means to experience 
the Prince of Peace this Christmas season and and be encouraged. Don't don't fear because he's going to bring um, his presence into your chaos. And with it will we'll come about wholeness and encouragement and strength to continue on. And then as you go from there, I want to encourage you guys, ask the Lord who you can bring his peace to this Christmas season. And whether it's a, a student um, in your class or a coworker or, um, it, I mean, it could be a, a family member at, at, at a family event who is just experiencing um, chaos. Ask the Lord who you can bring his peace and lightness to uh, and watch and see what he does. Thank you guys.